Hi, distance learners. So I'm going to show you on Zoom how to create a beautiful abstract rose for spring and summer. You're gonna need oil pastels, paints, and a heavier weight paper. Um, this is a wonderful project. Our kids on site have really liked it and um, I hope that you enjoy it too. We're gonna be radial drawing the same way we did our spider webs and snowflakes. So let's get started, grab your stuff. Okay guys, so we are going to be making a painting that looks similar to this. And it's gonna start out with a drawing like this. So you're going to need oil pastels. Um, one color will work just fine. I'm going to use green today and white. So you'll need any color, oops, plus your white. So our drawing is going to start with a spiral in the middle, a little snail shell. And then we're going to draw a circle around that. It's going to be the center of our rose. From there, we're gonna create three petals, and we don't want them to be perfectly around. We want them to be different, just like the petals of any flower, so not any flower, roses. <laughs> so we're gonna make one petal, two petal, three petal. You notice how they're all a little bit different. Now I'm gonna make kind of like a lumpy rainbow that's gonna jump from one petal to the other and one petal to the other, and one petal to the other, and so forth around. Um, again, we wanna keep these kind of big. We're not drawing a small, uh, small petals. We want them to stay pretty big. And just like when we did our snowflakes, we're rotating our paper. Rotating our paper as we draw. And you can jump from one to the other, you can skip. Your drawing's gonna look more realistic if it's not perfectly symmetrical. We do find symmetry in nature, but not on roses. <laughs> and keep going around and around until my flower gets to be the size that I want it. Keep going around. And then I'm gonna put my leaves on. So I'm gonna do four leaves, one in each corner. One, two curved lines and a line in the middle. Curve and curve and a line in the middle. Curve and curve and a line in the middle. I'm gonna just go with three this time. Now I can go in and thicken up some of these lines. I'm not gonna do all of them, I'm just gonna do some of them. I want them to look a little bit kind of scratchy. I don't want them to look like perfect lines to be a little wild looking. Okay. Now we're gonna go in with our white. And with your white, you're gonna make some little zigzaggy marks inside some of your petals. Not all of them, just some of them. And this does the same thing that a crayon does when you paint over it, that it resists. Okay, also with my pastel, I'm gonna put a little bit of white over where I thickened up those lines. I'm working really loosely. I'm not worried about my lines looking the P word perfect. You want just to keep them really nice and kind of wild. Okay, so when you finish that, you're going to um, paint it in with a water-based paint, like um, tempera cakes like these, or um, a watercolor paint like these, whatever you choose. And I'm gonna speed up the video while I do that. Hope you enjoyed the rose tutorial. <laughs> 